Hey guys, Jen from Phoenix and Lotus, continuing with Ethany's 31 Days of Tarot video challenge. And in the interest of trying to catch up, because I'm super behind, I'm going to do a couple days together <laughs> all at once. So today I am going to be looking at um, Sum Up 2016 in a card and talk about what's your most worked with deck from the last year and why. And for me, those things sort of coincide. Um, <laughs> for me, 2016 was the year of the tower. Tower. Um, yeah, there was lots of upheaval and things that me, there were a lot of events, both personally and and the world at large that really made me evaluate a lot of my core beliefs and foundations and what some of those assumptions that I make are and revisiting some of those. Um, I was laid off for the first time in my life. I've worked continuously pretty much since the summer I graduated from college in 1996. So all of a sudden not having a job or understanding what came next. That was really stressful to me. Um, at the same time, my husband's job situation was a little uncertain. He had been part-time, that he was full-time, then he injured himself um, <laughs> while I was in the process of getting hired in a full-time job. So there was a lot of just instability on that front. Uh, there were a bunch of family situations that were um, deeply emotional and required a lot of in-depth work and questioning and why did we get here? How are we here? How can we best support you? How can we all work together? How did we let this happen to begin with? Um, so it was, and then of course, you know, Dakota Access Pipeline, Donald Trump, bleh. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. But um, yeah, so it was, 2016 was rough um, for me, but I think it did clear away a lot of unnecessary areas where I've been investing time and helped me understand these are the things that really matter to me and this is how I want to rebuild and reshape and restructure as I move into 2017. So positive outcome out of what was really in a lot of ways a crappy year. Um, but my most worked deck in 2016 was the Golden Thread Tarot. And um, as I mentioned before, I haven't done a whole lot with black and white decks. And I know this is golden black, but it, for simplicity's sake, we'll call it a black and white deck. Um, I also had never worked with plastic cards before, and I didn't know how I would feel about that. I'm kind of a brute, and I shuffle really hard. I fling things all over. I'm constantly throwing decks into my bag and taking them with me, and cats are knocking them off my desk. I'm throwing them in my bag with crystals, and they get beat up, and um, so the sturdiness of this deck was definitely something that was appealing to me. And also the simplicity of the art, like that two of swords, very, very simple and yet so effectively captures what that Rider Waite two of swords image is, is really about, right? It, um, this deck just really, like King of Wands, so simple, but you get what's in there. So this was, oh, the moon, just, again, there was something about this deck that just really captured my attention. It's the one that I ended up reaching for most, possibly because it it did travel well and could take a meeting. Uh, but 
I, I did really enjoy working with this, this deck and it will continue to be a favorite. So those are two more days in the 31 days of video, 31 days of tarot video challenge.